Good afternoon and welcome to The Balance of Life. I thank you so very much for joining us today for truly this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It is always a honor to come and spend some time with you in the Word of God. It is, it's absolutely, it's a pleasure. And we thank you so very much for being a part of our family here at The Balance of Life. And we would love to invite you to become partners in prayer with us. There is no financial obligation to become a partner in prayer with us. The only thing that we ask is that you send us your prayer request. Uh, we will touch and agree with you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that the will of God be done in your life. Our email address is aFergusonWRP at yahoo.com. And that's it. Uh, that's all it takes is, is by you sending us an email. We do as the Word of God says, we pray ye one for another that ye may be healed. And so we, we're praying for you today. It is our sincere prayer that at this very moment, that you get into a place that you allow God to take total control to have his way let his will be done in your life he won't steer you wrong God has a perfect plan for each and every one of us he says it's in it, it's in a word it's in the Word of God he has a perfect plan he has a plan he has a plan for you and I. His plan for our lives is that His will is fulfilled on earth as it is in heaven. As I was getting dressed this morning, I heard in my spirit change the atmosphere. And I heard it a couple of times and I went to my laptop and I put on some worship music and I just begin to uh, think about that word change the atmosphere we have the power to change the atmosphere around us in the spiritual realm remember we we don't fight against flesh and blood we fight against the principalities against darkness you have the power in you through your being consecrated and sanctified, you have the power to change the atmosphere all around you. You don't have to argue. We as the body of Christ, we go through bouts of depression. We're human. We're in a fleshly body, but you are a spiritual being. And so get into a place, my God, Get into a place in Him. Consecrate yourself. L allow the Word of God to purify you. Change the atmosphere all around you. People uh, who once treated you in a negative way, they will begin to treat you in a positive way. Why? Because you have tapped into the keys of how to change the atmosphere around you. We are meant to change the atmosphere when we walk into any presence, any room, any place, the atmosphere should change, my God, because the anointing has come into the room. My God, I get so excited when I think about who he is in my life. We absolutely love you here. And so uh, as, we, as we become partners in prayer with you, that is our desire for you. that the will of God may be done in your life. Coming up, and I'd like to invite you, uh, those who are in the Swaysboro, Georgia area, on March the 4th and the 5th, 2019, as part one of a revival. No matter what you may be going through, your victory comes through speaking God's word. And that's Matthews 4 and 4. 
This revival will be held at Faith Outreach Deliverance Church, Incorporated. The address is 216 South Green Street, Swaysboro, Georgia, 30401. Myself, Elder Angel Ferguson, along with Pastor Lillian C. Allen of Faith Outreach Deliverance Church, located in Bridgeton, New Jersey, will do part one. We are part one of a revival. It's a total of five nights. Once again, myself and Pastor Lillian C. Allen will do the first two nights at Faith Outreach Deliverance Church in Swaysboro, Georgia, March the 4th and the 5th. The time is 7 o'clock p.m. The address is 216 South Pine, South Green Street, I'm sorry, Swaysboro, Georgia, 30401. Now, part two, because this is a one-week revival, part two will be held at Williams Chapel Holiness Church. That address is 415 Felix Street, Swaysboro, Georgia, 30401. Apostle Roma D. Allen Sr. of Faith Outreach Deliverance Church of Bridgeton, New Jersey and in Swaysboro, New Jersey. He has two locations. He will be over once again at Williams Chapel Holiness Church located at 415 Felix Street, Swaysboro, Georgia, March 6th, 7th and 8th. The time is 7 o'clock p.m. This is a part one and a part two of revival. Five nights two locations you don't want to miss this anointed service and uh, on tomorrow before we get into any other thing I just want to get these things out to you today on tomorrow we're going to uh, dive in and discuss a uh, new author this is her first book and and I know that there is many more to come Sylvia Stevens book you won't lose if you fight right uh, awesome book we have begun to read the book we already have some things outlined in the book uh, great great subject text and it, it is about spiritual warfare that's what the book is about and also she will have a book signing February the 16th at the Temple Terrace Library here in Tampa Florida that address is 202 Bullard Parkway Temple Terrace Florida 33617 the time of the book signing is 10 a.m. to 1 o'clock p.m. and so you definitely uh, if you are in the area please go out and support this awesome woman of God once again this is her first book we will discuss the book tomorrow wildlife on the air the subject of the book the title is you won't lose if you fight right the author is sylvia stevens and once again she's having a book signing february the 16th from 10 a.m to 1 o'clock p.m located at the temple terrace library that address is 202 bullet parkway temple terrace florida 33617 from 10 a.m to 1 o'clock p.m those who are available and, and would like to go out and meet this awesome woman of god get this book it's about spiritual warfare uh, that is your opportunity we'll be back in just a moment If you are looking for custom logos and designs for your business, personal usage, or even your organizations, No Mercy Soldier has a great deal for you. For $75, you can receive one logo design, one business card design, and up to 500 business cards. That's in one package. One logo design, one business card design, and up to 500 business cards for the low price of $75. For more details, please contact James Ferguson at jamesfnomercyhmx.com. There is so much going on in the Tampa Bay area and we are super, super excited. I'm excited about being a part of the, uh, the, the revival going on in Swaysboro, Georgia. Uh, great things going on if you would like to have your announcements your events uh, mentioned on the air 
please feel free to email us at aferguson.wrp at yahoo.com. Uh, subject matter would be advertisements, and uh, we will connect with you concerning our rates. Uh, there are opportunities for you can uh, so that you can get a a free advertisement. Uh, we'll share those details with you as well. If it's for your business, your organization, if you are a author with a book, uh, whatever it is, please contact us for your advertisements. Your advertisements will not only reach our listening audience here with radio broadcast, it would also reach our Hope and Truth magazine, which is our viewing audience. And so there is more than one avenue in which you can uh, become visible. Please give us an email for advertisement, aFergusonWRP at yahoo.com, or feel free to give us a call at 813-336-2181. Okay, we've got those things out of the way. I wanted to get that there because I want to get back to this Word of God. What I have to give... And we're over, we started this discussion yesterday, and we're over in Luke, the 19th chapter. And let's, let's go to the 11th verse, and this is where we started off. And as they heard these things, he added and spake a parable, because he was nigh to Jerusalem, and because they thought that the kingdom of God should immediately appear. He said, therefore, a certain nobleman went into a fair country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy till I come. And it came to pass... Let me go back to the 14th. But his citizens hated him and sent a message after him saying, We will not have this man to reign over us. And it came to pass that when he was returned, having received the kingdom, then he commanded these servants to be called unto him, to whom he had given the money, that he might know how much every man had gained by trading. Then came the first, saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained ten pounds. And he said unto him, Well, thou good servant, because thou hast been faithful in a very little, have thou authority over ten cities. And so Jesus is this nobleman. And he told us that he was going away to prepare a place for us. And he also gave the promise that he would return to take us back with him. And he gave us gifts, talents, spiritual gifts. He gave the gift of knowledge, the gift of wisdom, the gift of understanding. He gave gifts. But what are we doing with those particular gifts? That's a question that only the individual can answer. Now those gifts are found over in 1 Corinthians 12. And let's start at the seventh verse. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. Underline that. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit their role. Now that profit, that, you, that the profit that you're going to receive is not tangible, but is spiritual. The gifts that you're given are meant for the kingdom, that his will may be done on earth as it is in heaven. Now these gifts that he has given are so that when we receive them, we use them to speak that others may be drawn in so that they too may come into the knowledge of Christ. 
I have to go back to that. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. For one is given by the Spirit of the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge, by the same Spirit, to another faith, by the same Spirit, to another the gifts of healing by the same Spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another diverse kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. But all these worketh that one and the self same spirit, dividing to every man severely as he will. So, back to St. Luke. It says, and, and we're in St. Luke 19, and let's go down to the 12th verse again. He said, therefore, a certain, man, a certain nobleman went into a far country to receive from, for himself a kingdom and to return. He's gone to prepare a place for us. The significance is, is my God, and this is so good. He was once with them, Jesus, the Word, once walked among the people I'm with you but I have to go and I have to prepare a place and I will return but upon me leaving I'm gonna give you some talents mm. but I need you to use those talents and when I return I'm gonna see what you did with what I gave you my God Oh my God, that is absolutely good. That is a good word right there. I, I pray that you catch that in your spirit. I'm among you. It says a certain nobleman went in, into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. See, he had the expectation to return. We have to have the expectation that he's going to return for us one day. And he wants to know what it is that you have done with what he gave you. My God, that's good. We just read off to you over in 1 Corinthians, the 12th chapter, from the 7th through the 14th, about what he gives. Now, he also gives the fruit of the Spirit. But these right here are the manifestation of the spirit this right here is your spiritual gifts he he gave each one of us some some might have multiple but he gave them to us and he's going to return one day so it would behoove you and I to use what he gave us Verse 13 says, And he called his ten servants, and delivered them ten pounds, and said unto them, Occupy till I come. As we brought out on yesterday, Occupy till I come. It means each one of us has been given the chance, the time, and the means to live for Christ by word and deed, by acts of kindness in prayer through offerings and in many other things occupy till i come what are you doing as you wait for him to return don't let him catch you my god and i know i've heard this growing up don't let him catch you with your work undone my god don't let him catch you with your work undone he gave us a task. He gave us with a commission. What are you doing? It's in the same token, you know, as parents. And I have found myself here. And to God be the glory, my children are now adults. But they had chores. Even while the children are adults now, our life is structured around chores around obligations well by the time I got home from work when my children were growing up 
certain things needed to be done. I'm here with you. Uh, my God, I'm giving the instructions. Now I have to go off to work or I need to go off for a couple hours to run some errands. But when I return, that which I gave you to do should be done. Occupy till I come. Verse 16 says, Then came the first, saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained ten pounds. So I took that one pound you gave me, and not only, I didn't double it, I didn't triple it, I quadrupled it. Your one pound produced ten pounds. One can put a thousand to flight. What are you doing with what God gave you? And he said unto him, Well, thou good servant, because thou hast been faithful in a very little, have thou authority over ten cities. And the second came, saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained five pounds. And he said likewise to him, Be thou also over five cities. And another came, saying, Lord, behold, here is thy pound which I have kept laid up in a napkin. And so you have these things, you have these gifts, but you haven't done anything with them. You have the gift of wisdom, but you won't teach anybody. You have the gift of knowledge, but you won't spread it. You hold it to yourself. You have the gift of faith, but you won't step out on it. And you won't encourage anybody else to step out in faith. Uh, the same, uh, the gifts of healing by the same spirit. You won't intercede for anybody. You won't pray for anybody. God keeps putting someone on your heart and on your mind. Their body is going through pain and affliction. And you have the gift of healing in your hands. But you won't operate in it. You'll sit back on it. And you won't move. You won't use what he gave you. I'll be back in just a moment. The enrollment for Angel Ferguson's Ministries School of Ministry and Mentoring is currently accepting applications. Please visit us on our website at www.angelfergusonsministries.simplesite.com. There you can check out the courses that we offer. In the spiritual side, a breakthrough in my life, a guide to spiritual growth, Discovering Your Ministry and Spiritual Gifts, and newly released, The Promises of God, The Components of the Old and New Covenant. Also, we offer courses in Roadmap to Self-Publishing, The Writer's Launch, Purpose, Goals, and Dreams, and mentoring. Now the mentoring takes us from uh, basic to CEO, it also uh, structures you in building a business, uh, how to trickle down information. And so we have seven courses within the School of Ministry that we currently offer. All of the books, all of the workbooks are available on Amazon. You can do a individual group study. You can do a study for yourself. Uh, if you like to do, you know, just order the workbook online and go through the workbook and and do the lessons yourself you can get it in a group there are opportunities that uh, you can invite myself out to your facility to teach uh, our newly released the promises of God the components of the old and new covenant is a 15 week course that uh, God allowed us to do while we were in Vineland, New Jersey. And so from September the 19th through December 26th, we taught on the promises of God, the components of the Old and New Covenant. And we were able to release it on December 28th. Uh, there are lessons in each one of the workbooks and so uh, it's not something that you just read. Uh, it's, it's, it takes some digging, it takes some prayer. 
even uh, the other curriculum, there are assignments in those as well. And so uh, we, we give you tools. It's not just for you to sit and read, but it's actually homework assignments, uh, which are, it's, it's meant to capture your attention to get you to where God will have you to be. Once again, please visit us on our website www.angelfergusonsministries.simplesite.com for the School of Ministry and Mentoring. We are certified and recognized by the state of Florida as a religious institution. And so when you finish your courses, when we are teaching the courses, you can receive a certificate of completion uh, after, of course, a final exam. Yes, I am a ordained apostolic teacher uh, I am a teacher of the fivefold ministry uh, I absolutely love to teach and so um, please feel free to reach out to us once again our website is www.angelfergusonsministries.simplesite.com and once again I just want to give you the dates to the revivals part one and part two part one March 4th and 5th 2019 at Faith Outreach Deliverance Church Incorporated the address is 216 South Green Street Swaysboro Georgia 30401 services will begin 7 o'clock p.m. Theme, no matter what you may be going through, your victory comes through speaking God's word. Matthews 4 and 4. That word says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes out of the mouth of God. On this part one, myself, Elder Angel Ferguson, along with Pastor Lillian C. Allen of Faith Outreach Deliverance Church, which is their uh, Bridgeton, New Jersey location. We will do part one. This is a part one and two revival. This is a week revival. Fourth and fifth will be at Faith Outreach Deliverance Church in Swaysboro, Georgia. Part two begins March 6th, 7th, and 8th with Apostle Roma D. Allen Sr. of Faith Outreach Deliverance Church Incorporated. He is the founder of Faith Outreach and uh, Faith Outreach Deliverance Church. They have a Bridgeton, New Jersey location and a Swaysboro, Georgia location. Once again, Part Two, March sixth, seventh, and eighth. Services begin at seven o'clock p.m. at Williams Chapel Holiness Church. The address is four one five. Felix Street, Swaysboro, Georgia 30401. You don't want to miss this. If you are in the area, we invite you to come and be a part of this revival. It is a part one and a part two. And as mentioned on tomorrow, we're going to discuss Sylvia Stevenson's new book, You Won't Lose If You Fight Right. So tune in on that tomorrow. The Word of God that we're giving you today, we're always giving out keys. The Holy Spirit deals with us first. We are first partakers of this Word. And so this question, what I have to give, resonates resignate, with us. It, it hits me first. When He hits my spirit and I go into the Word of God and I'm, I'm meditating on this and I'm actually asking myself this very same question. What am I doing with what He gave me? What am I doing with what He gave me? He gave me the gift of teaching. And I love to teach. And when there is an opportunity, as a matter of fact, every day I use an opportunity to teach. I use that opportunity through television and radio broadcasting. We do that five days a week. Mondays and Fridays is television broadcasting. Tuesday through Thursday is radio broadcasting. This is what I do. And so I'm, I'm also looking in there and saying, okay, God, you gave me some other talents. Am I using them for your purpose 
I pray that something that we said today is, is causing you to take a look at what he gave you. Ask yourself that question. Am I using what he gave me? I absolutely love you. Stay encouraged, encouraging others along the way.